Hey, everybody, I'm Johnny Scoville. Papa Scoville. And this, this is Chase, Chase the Heat. Heat. Get away, And Chase. this, or I should say these, these are jams from Little Acres. All right, so uh, the he last... He grows all these things? He grows the fruit, the jam, the peppers, the, I mean, he grows, or, I mean, you name it, he grows just about everything. Really? Tomatoes? Yeah, no, no, he probably, he probably does. Um, ironically, he doesn't know, but he. So here's what we got: S Scott and Heidi, love you guys. Nice folks. Yeah, I had a great visit last time they were here. We went out, had a super time. So here's what we got: we got three uh, jams. My favorite jam right here, for you guys who don't know. And it's been a while since we've had a jam review. I'm kind of excited about this. It is a long time. Yeah, I've hasn't it been? Yeah. So here we go. Uh, we have three, so here's what I thought I'd do. Kind of read the label, uh, read them and show the labels and let you decide which one you want to go with. Sounds like a plan. All right, so the first one is uh, his Raspberry Nectarine White Ghost. There's the label, friends and family. See that? Here are the ingredients. Raspberries, nectarine, can't go wrong with that. Uh, white ghost peppers, sugar, and pectin. You know, I like white ghost peppers. They're not as hot as the regular ghost, and they're the, the wall lining is so much, the, so much thicker. It's not a thin wall. It's much thicker, yeah, but so these it's much would be more ground juicy. Up, won't yeah, they? but it's such, it's such a juicy uh, pepper. It's really delicious. I think this would be a good one. All right, then we'll do that. Uh, well, hang on, hang on. Now yeah. we're gonna go with Cowboy Up. <laughs> exactly, Cowboy Up. Here we go. This is strawberry, cherries, bananas, and oranges. Boy, is that a good start? Yeah. Strawberries, cherries, bananas, oranges, purple ghost peppers, scorpion peppers, sugar, and pectin. But there's no scorpions in there. No. <laughs> I knew that. And here's the last one is Tango Heat. Like the name. Tango Heat. Here's what a Tango Heat is. Tangelo. <laughs> tangerine. <laughs> uh, scorpion peppers. And sugar and pectin. That was cute. Uh, you can tell the folks if you want. To. Here's the deal. Right before this, we were like, what's a Tangelo? So we went on this... <laughs> rant about finding out what a tangelo is and it's confusing enough that we said ah we'll skip over that we won't tell them so when i hit tangelo we kind of gave it a look there so, so um, we thought we were clear of it then right? we picked up this one and it says that one doesn't have it nectarine right. <laughs> we got another hybrid so listen here we go it's tangelo uh, uh tangerines tr uh, trinidad scorpion pepper sugar and pectin so here are the three dad do your pick your poison. Which one do you think you want to go with? You got a Hershey bar? Yeah, let's just try that. It's hot. This is the hot one. You said yeah. that was the easiest no, one. You know what like, uh, double talk is? No, this is the you want do you want to do the the one that you I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's do this. Let's start with the one that's the least hot and move our way up. But not all today. We'll do one today and we'll say right. December, January. So, <laughs> all right, let's you do like it. this stuff. You like stuff. Hey, no, no. <laughs> Today we're doing a show for the Boeing test put runway. Right. So here we go, guys. This is what we're going to do. This is one that's going to be the least hot, I believe. Plus, I really like the sounds of it. Raspberry, nectarine, white ghost peppers. It does sound good. Nice sugar and pectin. And look I at this, guys. Know. Take a look at how pretty that is. Now, this is interesting because these jams are great on sandwiches, obviously. But you know what they're really good at? Grilling. On wings or chicken. Oh, you mean like a, like a spread? Like, what well, you, is that what they were designed for? Uh, cook it, grilling a lot of them. It's grilling. Like, he has literally barbecue jams that are just made do for barbecue. Do we taste those? Or what I have in the past. I don't think it was before uh, you were doing reviews with me. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is Little Acres. Ooh, um, Scott very Joel, good Scott job. Knighty. Or Joyce Joel, Scott it Knighty. It looks nice. Um, hi, guys. Thank you so much. Um, what does that mean? You get the sweetness from the fruitiness from the raspberries. You get the sweetness, but you get the fruitiness from the raspberries and the nectarine, but no mistaking the ghost pepper in there. It's in there. Oh, it's in there, people. Get a whiff. I think it smells amazing. Doesn't it smell good? Can I let you know? Look, he's got to go for a ton. You know, really. You think it was December? You just have all this heat. Is this too much for no, me? No, that's good. You should be fine. 
All right, so um, from Little Acres, thank you, Scott and Heidi. This is a raspberry nectarine white ghost. I'm looking forward to this. Maybe we can look up nectarine again. <laughs> so I'm Johnny Scoville. And I'm Papa with, Scoville. With trepidation. This is yeah, Jason. Yeah, right over there, trepidation. You know what's great? There's a, to me, there's a really fine line. Between I'll life and death. Yeah, but uh, with jams, between being sweet enough and then syrupy sweet, like it's almost too much, yeah, which is hard because it's a jam. The first part of this move was... Hold off on that. <laughs> I am going to have more because the fruity part is so rewarding. Man, it just tastes so good. You get the, 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 here's the thing. Do you agree with me, though? It's sweet but not syrupy sweet. It's not too much. So it's sweet, fruit, the, the fruit, the, just... yeah, the raspberry, the nectarine, the fruit, they, they play so well together. And that ghost pepper, it really, it, that's white ghost. We could, we could ask him to leave town. <laughs> this is delicious. It's a little more. You know, I'll tell you something, the guy has a hand with knowing the knack how to make things blend, doesn't he? He's got the hang of it, man. Wow. That's good stuff. It is good. All right, now here's the cool thing. You know what you're going to love about this? We always talk about the school family. Wow. We're sitting around the table. Some of us eat stuff that's hot, different varying levels. Everybody march to the beat of their own drummer. That's how we chase the heat. So some of you don't eat anything hot. Do you want to know something? You could eat this and it wouldn't hurt you. Even if you don't eat anything off, you want to know what g white ghost pepper tastes like without hurting yourself? Because you have the great flavor of the raspberry, of the uh, raspberry and the nectarine, but I'll that pepper... You, the, if the guy played the, 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 just put the raspberry nectarine in a jar and left that pepper out, I'm not burning, but that's a, that's a great mixture. And let me look at it. You can taste the seeds and... Uh... Here's the deal. You, this really does taste like the white ghost pepper, but without the punishing heat. No, no. On a scale from 1 to 10, where are you at? Not even. Two? Three? Four. Really? Three. Say two. No, I'm kidding. I, I was just playing. So like a three or four for you? Yeah. All right, so this is one of those things where if you're kind of looking at it and you're like, well, you know, I don't really eat stuff this hot, but boy, if I was gonna, that's the thing I'd order, then lean into the pitch, take one for the team, and get some of this. Seriously. Raspberry, or, uh, raspberry nectarine, white ghost. I love the flavor of that. It is, it's... Why am I, what is happening to me? I'm becoming the wolf man. Speaking of Wolfman, last night here in Reno, see, I go to bed right back here in the mountains, in the hills. Last night, the coyotes are amazing. We have, we have plenty. But anyway, this is great. So if you're somebody who's never eaten anything hot, you can eat this, and I'm telling you, it wouldn't be more than like a three. Is that a, is that a um, white ghost no, it's a, bit? It's, it's a seed, yeah, but there's no heat in the seed. There's no heat in seeds. So mis mis you mean like there's no crying in baseball? There is no crying in baseball, but there's, it's a misconception. People say, oh, there's heat in the seeds. There's no, no heat in the seeds. Anyhow, somebody that doesn't eat anything hot, this would be like a three or four for you. If you're used to it, it you'd be saying, well, it kind of bumps my needle. Not that hot, but the flavor is just absolutely amazing. You couldn't eat this, give it to somebody who doesn't eat hot and fake it. They would know there's hot. But they'd say, hey, wait a minute. Why is this? The thing of it is that... Uh, the, it's worth the, the little heat. To, in fact, what am I saying? You people don't want the heat. Oh. The vegetables, I mean, the fruit is spectacular. A little more. Why hasn't anybody put that in? A, and why isn't Smuckers? They're, they're over the fence. It's a dirty word, Smuckers. That's good stuff. This stuff is amazing. You know what? He said, he, Scott told me years ago, a couple years ago, I want to be bigger than Smuckers. So this is what my dad what, what and I you say? What, what? be bigger than Smuckers. This is what my dad and I just did to this bottle of jam, just kind of playing with it. This is yummy. 
It's good. Great flavor. You know, I was looking forward to just maybe I say, well, yeah, what people out there are going to say, well, whatever the old man says, he's going to say, or vice versa. That's not the case here, and I want to be truthful. Nobody's going to be disappointed. Nobody. So here's the deal, you people. Um, if you haven't done this yet, you, you need to go to the description box, click the link. Here, check now, this out. Where would the people out there? Where would they get this? Good. Online? No, we're gonna, they can go on. They can go online. I'm gonna put a link in the description box for them. But ready for this? You're gonna love this. Here's Scott's phone number: two zero eight six four nine five two four nine. Yeah, about being that. Away. Call him right now. 208-649-5249. I wouldn't say it if it wasn't cool. I, I wouldn't no. drop the guy's number if it, you didn't want me to. It's right on the label, folks. I'm not doing anything nefarious here. But get a hold of him because they have a. He has like 130 or 140 varieties of, of. And the amazing thing is, every one of them are just like, ah, they're so good. But what you're saying to yourself is, why haven't I thought of this? Because <laughs> you're not Scott Lazarus. No way. Good stuff, though. All right, so if, you are, if you're a fan of Scott's Array, then do me a favor. Go to the comment section and say so. This stuff is gold. Hey, tonight, uh, 7.30 Central Time, going to be eating some more fresh peppers. Got some from, uh, where do we get these from? Can you remember? Oh, uh, Jimmy Pickles. Sorry, I had a, a brain flash there. Jimmy Pickles from uh, Pickles uh, Pepper Products. Great guy. You know, funny thing is, Jimmy started his uh, pepper business at the same time I started Chase the Eat. So we've kind of watched each other kind of do this. It's been kind of cool. But So Jimmy uh, Jimmy Pickle has sent me some really cool pods um, that I'll be reviewing tonight. So I'll be munching some peppers and hang out with you guys live for an hour. D does he take part in the various shows? Who? Scott? It, Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, Jim, uh, he was on last night because I ate one of his peppers. Yeah, Jimmy, you know, Jimmy... I mean, does Jim, he travel to the... Oh, yeah, uh, no. I don't think he's been to some shows yet. I haven't seen him there. But what Jimmy does, he does a lot of live streaming where he shows his garden and some of the things he's got going really? on. Really? Anytime he does, I poke my face in and watch it. So he's a good guy. So anyway, um, check that out tonight, 7.30 Central Standard Time. But get some of this. You'll thank me. Um, excuse me. Uh, that had nothing to do with this. Nah, nah, nah. nah. Um, in the description. Oh, by the way, real quick, I'm going to talk about it every day uh, until it happens. 16, on the 16th of August is the next 25-hour live stream. Really an important one. I want you guys to all come and check it out. Got some great doings going on, so please be there for that. Great jo doings. doings. Johnny Jr., you guys all know him. You love him. He's part of the show. A little bit of tidbit for you. The name Scoville Squad. He came up with that. Did he really? Yeah, Johnny Jr. goes, hey, we should call him the Silver Squad. That's our family. pretty tricky. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, he 46 days from today, he will be becoming a full part, a full-time fixture of Chase T on all the videos, traveling with many different countries. So get ready to welcome him. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're so making that's, a wish you were his son. Exactly. That's Well, he's part of the family. That's 46 days away, so start carrying the days down. But on the 16th, starts at Friday at 6 o'clock, goes through Saturday at 7 o'clock, 25 hours of hilarity and fun. Um, and some cool stuff. So prizes, huh? Prizes, all kinds of good stuff. So don't miss that, please. Put it on your calendar. Right between my dad and I. See that? Right there. Right there. That's a pepper. Click that when you do your part of our family. And if you don't want to miss a video, click the bell for notification. And you won't. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Johnny Scoville. And I'm Papa Scoville. And this was Chase, Chase the, the Heat. heat.